Hey guys, welcome back to LuxBiz. I'm Tatiana and today I'm going to answer the question on should you drop ship on Amazon? So if you haven't seen my last video, I highly recommend that you watch it. The link will be in the description. In that video, I discuss the advantages and disadvantages of a drop shipping business. Um, but today I'm going to specify drop shipping on Amazon because you can drop ship on your own website. You can drop ship on eBay. You can drop ship anywhere, but should you drop ship on Amazon? And you know, this is my opinion and the answer is no, I just don't think you should. There's several reasons. Number one is because if you're drop shipping on Amazon, you're competing with Amazon FBA sellers, sellers like myself, people who have purchased inventory and sent it to the Amazon warehouse with their own brand name. They're at the warehouse ready to be shipped, eligible for Amazon Prime shipping. If you don't know what that is, you should know. It's two day shipping that Amazon offers to people who are subscribed to Amazon Prime. Um, and so we're also uh, getting our products at a far cheaper price than you're probably getting your products at. So what will happen is you'll end up battling us. There will be a price bidding battle and we're gonna win. <laughs> so it's hard to compete with Amazon FBA sellers. And in addition to Amazon FBA sellers, you're also gonna be competing with manufacturers. So oftentimes what we'll see now is we'll see a product on Amazon <clears throat> that's priced so low. And then we find out that it's actually the manufacturer directly from China or wherever that they're selling the product on Amazon. And they're able to have such a low price point because they're the manufacturer. So even myself as an FBA seller, I can't compete with that. So as a dropshipper, you definitely can't as well. It becomes very, very challenging and you'll have to invest a lot more into the business in that way. Um, another reason is again, because if you're drop shipping a product, you're going to have a big shipping time frame difference than someone who is set up with Amazon FBA. Because if you're drop shipping the product, you're most likely drop shipping it from Asia, from China. A lot of people do. You can drop ship locally, but for the most part, the majority of people should find products on AliExpress, which are based in uh, Asia. And so what happens is then someone buys the product on Amazon and Amazon customers are spoiled. You know, we have very, very fast shipping uh, with Amazon. And then when they see that it takes two weeks to receive their product, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks even, they are not gonna be encouraged by that. They're going to be discouraged. They might refund the product or they're just gonna have a negative customer experience. Um, even if my products are not prime eligible on Amazon, but I'm selling on Amazon and I have my inventory at the Amazon FBA warehouse, my shipping's still gonna be faster than yours because you're shipping from a different continent. You're shipping from Asia to North America and that's just gonna take a lot, a lot longer. Now, they have something called ePacket uh, where they can ship you the product to the United States within like a week's time, which is pretty fast. And it's really cheap actually for you as a drop shipper, but it doesn't apply for like, for example, the UK. In the UK, it'll take four weeks to arrive there or in Australia. Um, so you always have to keep that in mind. And just people, you know, when they buy something online, they need it, they needed it yesterday. You know, they need it as soon as possible. Most people aren't anticipating to receive their products in four weeks. So they're not buying a month in advance. Uh, when they buy, they want to receive it as soon as possible. So you have that disadvantage. Another disadvantage is Amazon's return policy. So, you know, as an Amazon Prime customer, I love the return policy. I can return anything within 30 days, no questions asked. But as a seller, that poli return policy is not too great. Um, so, you know, for yourself as a drop shipper, if you are drop shipping a product to a customer and they decide to return it, uh, it's basically at a loss to you. You know, there's ways that you can work around this um, to help yourself with those profits, but it's, it's for the most part, it's at a loss. You know, even the same thing, I'm FBA, uh, Amazon FBA, I have my own inventory, but because my product's in a clothing category, if someone returns my products, it's at a loss because Amazon does not accept used clothing. And technically, as soon as a product's returned, it's considered used. It's just like a driving a car off the lot for the first time. As soon as it's off the lot, it's used, even though it's off, been off the lot for five meters, you know? So it's the same thing on Amazon. So these are all the disadvantages of it. And um, so I highly encourage you to, instead of selling on, drop shipping on Amazon, 
dropship on your own website. If you are fixated on the idea of dropshipping uh, instead of Amazon FBA private labeling, then dropship on your own website. What you can do is you can start a Shopify store. You can get images from your supplier or take images yourself or find images from wherever. Uh, make sure it's not copywritten. And then you start to market, you know, market your products on Instagram, market them on Facebook, use influencer marketing. I'll talk about that in another video um, to leverage yourself so that you can now have people seeing your products on your website, drive traffic to your, uh, your website, and then, you know, start drop shipping from there. So it's far more cost effective for you. Um, it's far, your profit margins will be higher and you're not competing against all these Amazon FBA sellers and manufacturers. So definitely the best option uh, in terms of drop shipping. And if you are you know, looking to start an online sales business where you're selling customers products, I'd highly, consider, uh, highly recommend you consider looking into Amazon FBA private labeling. I actually think that this is the most sustainable and most enjoyable form of selling products. And um, if you haven't looked into that yet, check out all my other videos. I've got a ton of videos on this subject because I think it's just so great. But if you don't have uh, money to invest straight away, drop shipping can be a great option for you. Hopefully you guys liked this video. If you received any value from it, thumbs up. Comment below if you have any questions about drop shipping or if you want to learn more about influencer marketing, let me know so I can make separate videos on that subject because that's a really, really hot way to market your products online right now. Instead of paying for ads, you pay for influencers. All right guys, have a great day, bye-bye. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell symbol so you get notified whenever I've got a new video. I highly recommend that you click the link in the description so you can subscribe to my mailing list so I can send you free Amazon FBA tr video trainings. And if you wanna continue watching, I recommend one of these videos here. So click it.